All right, hey guys, here we are, hole nine. And I'm going to bring my sniper. I'm going to bring my apocalypse. And looks like I should be good to win this one, if I so choose to do so. Um, I'm gonna do very, very similar to what you guys saw me do. Oh, you know what I didn't bring? I didn't bring my, uh, I didn't bring my uh, cataclysm. And I don't know if I can get it. Well, we'll see. I, I, I think I might have a second bag, potentially. Let's see what it looks like. Nope. So I do not have something. So another thing that I can do is I can I can take it way up to the left. And with this straight wind, this isn't going to be necessarily a bad play and you know if you bring sniper for instance you know this might be actually kind of the ideal play however keep in mind how perfect this drive has to be so i'm kind of looking at five rings down as my land zone and i need to be very exacting with my perfect ball here or at least close to perfect because if i'm just a little bit off in this narrow section you know i could potentially put it into the rough and essentially make it impossible for me to, uh, you know, pick this up. But however, you know, with this straight tailwind, putting it way down there on the left-hand side isn't necessarily a bad thing. Um, in the master's division, it's a lot harder to do what I just did. However, on this, um, you know, and one of the, the best things, even if I come up short on my approach, I'm going to essentially leave it in line with the pin, and it's just going to be a straight downwind pitch so going to the left isn't necessarily the worst thing to do um, however you know I really do like going towards the right if you guys watch my other guide um, especially with a couple extra yards off the tee it was a very low power low risk shot whereas you can see I kind of have to blast this as hard as I can so I really do like that uh, right going right at the pin approach I think it's going to give you an easier eagle However, you know, this has its advantages too, because after I pull off the drive, look how easy this hole is, but I have to pull off the drive. That's the, and the, the drive has some, some risk to it. No question about it. So, um, you know, definitely something to be thinking about here. You can see I'm going to use right around three top spin. I'm going to try to more or less kind of land it here with a little bit of curl. So I'm thinking somewhere in the neighborhood of one per ring it is a little bit uphill i'm also going to curl it as well so perfect ball keep in mind that i have that top spin one ish per ring it looks like it's going to come up just a little bit short but you can see that the line's very good it's going to give me a very good chance at eagle um, the the hardest part about that is going to be making sure that the drive is perfect time and time again because if you put it in the rough, you completely take yourself out of the hole. And going to the right, especially the way that if you watch my tutorial, it's very, very easy to get the hole doing that. So let's see what my opponent does. I'm assuming he's still okay, even with a Guardian 5 here. Should just be able to max this out. Let's just see how this winds up. Quite a bit of curl, full power, full everything. Um, even with a Guardian 5, should be able to get this up to an easy within, by the fringe, at least. So, sure enough, that's on. It's very, very close. And I'm just going to forfeit out just to save some time. I would have, you know, took the Eagle if I could have got it and won. But uh, I'm not going to go to the shootout. So i got a couple more guides to do. So, um, good luck there with your guys' expert rounds. And uh, let me know how it goes. Uh, you know, definitely be looking at both sets of tutorials just to kind of pick and choose as the, you know, what you feel a little bit more comfortable with. And, uh, you know, if you can bump up, you know, that's the best advice that I have for you um, with a weaker bag is to actually bump up because it's really going to put you in a position to kind of level the playing field a little bit more. And if you can just, you know, execute on some of these par the, the, the par four shots are a little bit tougher in master, which means guys are going to get them less. 
So, um, you know, that's a very favorable thing to be looking at to kind of level the playing field a little bit. So good luck with your rounds. Let me know how it goes, guys. And uh, I'll catch you guys next time for some more stuff.